Hello everyone, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I will be presenting this video for dnnhere.com on how to use the recycle bin feature of .NET NUC. So here we have our test website. So let's log in and to use the recycle bin, uh, you don't need to, ha to have host access, you don't need to log in as host, you can log in as admin. And in our example, I'm going to go to the login page, to this login page that I have created here, just, just for the sake of our demonstration. And I will be deleting this module called Coding Stuff Power Login. I'm going to be deleting this module and I will use the Recycle Bin to get it back. Okay, so what do we have to do to delete a module? Just move the mouse over the triangle, the action. Uh, menu, click delete. So the module is gone, but now how can you go about recovering it? So you can recover that module by using the recycle bin under admin. In our case here, we it's a brand new site, so we don't have uh, many pages or modules deleted. We just have that module, so we can click the module and then click uh, the restore button or you also have the option to clean the recycle bin um, again for some reason you may have uh, accumulated too many modes that you have deleted over time and you may want to delete the recycle bin so but again in our case we want to recover uh, a deleted module so let's click on the recover button so recover is pretty much done. Let's go back to the login page. So the module is back in the page and the recycle bin works for both modules when you delete them from pages or pages as well. And let's try uh, to, to use the, the page recovery uh, right now. So let's delete this login page. We are in the login page, at the top you can see delete, let's click there, click OK, the login page is gone, again this is just uh, a test login page, let's go back to admin, recycle bin, so here's the login page, what we need to do, very simple, select the page that you want to recover, click the restore button, and the page will be added back, now it's added after admin. I know to fix that, quite simple. Go to pages, get this the login page and move it upwards. So the login page is back in its place. I just want to give a one last piece of recommendation, of advice. Uh, when you go to the recycle bin, the names that will show up here in the list of deleted modules is the name that you give when you're gonna add the module to the to the page, let's say I'm gonna let's say that I want to add a new module to this page. So this new module, and I'm gonna add to the content page. Click Add Module. So here's the new the new text HTML module that I have just added to this page. If and when I delete this module. And I go back to admin, recycle bin. Again, the name that is showing up here is the name of the module that I have put in the title bar. But if by any chance I keep adding modules to the page without title bar, without the title, see the name that comes up is just called text HTML. And if I add another one, and another one. So again, it just keeps coming as text HTML. If I delete one of those, and if I go back to the recycle bin, I may have dozens of, of text HTML modules that I have deleted over time. And so I may not know exactly which one is which. So my recommendation is whenever you add uh, a module to a page, put a title to that module so you can identify 
you can identify that easily not only for the recycle bin purpose but there are other places that it is very useful to know the exact name that was placed to a particular content a particular module a particular area in that uh, in that page okay okay so basically this is how you can use the recycle bin feature of dot nook to recover not only modes that you have deleted over time but pages as well okay thank you